Hi everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House. And I think that thunderstorm is coming close to my house. So today I'm going to be very, very quick. Dynamic search ads, five steps of a life cycle. What I wanted to tell you about today is what is dynamic search ads and why do we actually need them and how to make them profitable. So dynamic search ads is the way of Google advertising, go to your site, understand what people might search, create their own keywords, create their own headlines, create their own campaigns and make advertising without you actually doing a single stuff. And that's very cool. But dynamic search ads actually is not the best practices. You do not try to delegate your work of finding the best answer, the best product for each user query in the Google. You wanted to delegate to Google the process of finding new keywords, not the whole stuff. And that's a very important thing. Why? Because when you delegate the whole advertising to Google, it will be very unoptimized and you cannot work with the pieces. You cannot go deep in your advertising and to make and understand what works better for you and what works bad. When you tr delegate only finding new keywords work to DSA, it works extremely good. So remember, DSA is to find new keywords, not to delegate all your work to Google. There are two different ways of setting up the DSA. One, if your site is already exists for some time, is SEO index based way. You just tell Google, hey, you already know my site, you already know the pages, you know what people are looking for, just use this information for my paid advertising. That's all you have to do. And actually that's the best way, at least I like it because it's a very lazy and very fast way that works very good. If you just created your site, you should use index file. You cannot create it yourself, you will have to ask the developers. So just go to Google, Google the DSA feed and you will see the page that describes how to build the feed of the pages of your site for Google DSA. Then just delegate this work to your developers because you are a businessman or a marketeer, you ha don't have to do this stuff. So to make DSA works really good, I recommend you to create several ad groups inside DSA campaigns with the different paths of your site. Make a different ad group with a catalog, different with the context and news, and different with all other stuff. Why? The same reason. We wanted to cut the DSA in pieces and to see what actually works and what doesn't work. Google will try to pull all the data in one big piece and it's very difficult to work with this piece. It's very difficult to understand what's inside and what actually works because you also won't see a lot of search queries at all. So instead of doing a mess, we're trying to separate everything in a separate uh, directions. So when you create a DSA campaign, create several ad groups with the different parts of your site and measure them differently. There is a very high chance that only one or two ad groups will actually bring the traffic. But creating several ad groups is not a difficult. It will take you about 10 to 15 minutes but that will give you a lot of information and a lot of abilities to control it, then you have to apply negatives. What does it mean? You need to apply all known bad keywords that you already found in your account. You also have to apply all existing phrase and exact keywords that you already done in your account. What does it mean? You, if you have some keywords that already exist in other campaigns, you don't want a DSA to compete for that keywords because DSA is by default a re less relevant thing. So you just download the report with all your keywords, put them in exact and put them in phrase and just uh, exclude them from DSA. And also don't forget that to, you have to make a cross negatives between ad groups. You don't want to create several ad groups that target the same pages on your site. Then the two things. First, create at least two ads in each ad group that you've done. You won't be asked to create a headline, but you will have to create two different descriptions and make these descriptions really sexy. Make them really cool and really working for you. And it's not difficult to create a couple of descriptions and a couple of ads. And you also set up the bits on ad group level lower than existing keywords in your account. So you'll be sure that even if you have some overlapping, 
this say won't compete for something that is much more relevant in your existing keywords. And then you just go to infinite loop. So you have DSA that works for you, that generates new keywords that you haven't been, haven't created before. You go there in search query report, check the keywords, you, you add bad keywords to negatives and good keywords to exact and phrases, and then just continue doing that every one or two weeks, depending on your spend. I've been working with accounts that have this enough information to make it every day for two weeks. And I've also been working with accounts that don't have enough information to do this every three weeks and I will, ha I will have to do it every two months. What's important for you is that use GSA as a generator for your new keywords instead of your own brain and bring peace to your campaigns. Thank you very much for watching. Ask your comments in the comment section below. If you have any questions, also ask them there. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and also give me your recommendations. What you want to see more, what you want to see less, what you'd like and what you don't like. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.